orientation session of National Education Policy 2020, which is being organized by Institution Innovation Council by Ministry of Health, Human Resource Development Innovation Cell. Now I welcome all the faculty members and dear students who gather here on the orientation session organized by IIC. So this corona infection, this pandemic has brought down a life into a, so much of misery. There are certain pros and cons of it, which also made us to learn many things in our personal, family and professional life. So in such challenging situation, to start with academic year 2021, I think almost after a gap of eight to nine months, it's first of offline or a personal session where I could see majority of my students in front of me. Because uh, all this pandemic, uh, when it started, many of the events we did, we haven't stopped ourselves for the academic, extended and academic activities, but many, everything was online. So it's very glad, the first of its kind in academic year 2021, we are meeting personally for this session. Institutional Innovative Committee or a Council. Our university also has a unit. Various institutes like engineering, medical, dental, they also have a sub-units. And one of that is our unit, Nursing College IIC unit. So the Central Ministry of Human Resource Development, where they are mainly keen for the education, higher education, university programs, so on and so forth. They are the policy makers, decision makers. So, as led down by them and expected by them, this particular activities, it goes beyond than your curriculum. It is something extended academic or extracurricular activity. Many things in nursing we conduct under the banner of Trained Nurses Association, that is Student Nurses Association, SNA activities. Everybody of us, we are known to that. So as, the IIC, it is the activity the same way extended curricular or extracurricular. They are laying down a particular schedule and there are some expected activities. As per that, we have to conduct the, it is not only the competitions and celebrations, but it also has its own innovative information, additional information which are related to professional curriculum academics, which is of present and future orientation. So same way educational policy, which majority the today's central government they have given a enough uh, social media and information coverage and in a well platform they have till now oriented about it. So at least something of it at uh, student level you all also will be aware of it. But today we will be doing a thorough orientation about uh, educational policy 2020 and beyond. If you will see a certain aspects of it, many of the things are going worldwide. Those particular educational policies were somewhere or the other run in European countries or USA and such universities. Somewhere or the other, this platform also speaks, this innovation also speaks the international repute aspects. It is yet not something which has been imported, but whatever is the need of young India and a future India in terms with a basic curriculum, maybe starting from CBSE to a higher education. So to remain in a par with uh, international standards, at the same time an uh, Indian scenario, what is expected considering the limitations in today's system and what we want future in Indian scenario. It is a, a good combination, a comprehension of it. So more or less you will understand in one hour or one hour few minute session, it will be just orientation. You can't go much details of it, but further you can refer the details of it. So with this particular session, we are starting our IIC activities. IIC activities had uh, just uh, you can say a gap of round of year to one and a half year but before then that also very full-fledged these activities were been run in uh, Kirtankar Mahavir College of Nursing. 
Okay, so with this we are starting and there will be several activities which we have to maintain quarterly or throughout the year. So I welcome everyone for a new beginning, not only for IIC, but in our routine of College of Nursing, which we used to have a celebrations, observation of many days and all that very large scale, it had a gap. And with this, we are doing a new beginning. So I welcome everyone utilize and participate not only for this but further actively and uh, all the very best thank you education policy 2020 so as we all are in nursing field we know only based on nursing process or nursing prospect of everything but this MEP that is it is shortly called as MEP 2020 that is national education policy 2020 so what is the factors? Here mostly they are concentrating on the government which is being having a new aspects of change in education. So now in 1986 was the before first national policy which was taken in 1986 and after 34 years of gap, this 2020 is the second concept which has been given with many rules and regulations and many changes in national education policy. For example, so you know in nursing we have MPhil and a uh, PhD. So from this year onwards, MPhil is being discontinued. So this is one of the examples that I have time to give, and I will start with the session. So the vision. So the vision of national education policy is an education system that contributes to an equality and vibrant knowledge society by providing high quality education to rights, um, uh, duties and constitutional uh, values bounding with one's country, uh, one's country and a, a conscious awareness of non-role uh, role and responsibilities of a changing world. So here there is a deep respect, there is a sense of respect should be given for all the fundamental rights which has been there in the education policy and, and commitment to human rights and commitment to human rights. So these are some of the vision of the national. The main concept is there is an introduction or change in the level of system from the school to uh, college levels. So we will see some of the key roles of this before that I, I told you in the starting of the session there is, there is a gap of 34 years and 1986 only they have established the national education policy and after that there is a 34 years of gap and after now in 2020 because mainly why they uh, took this policy is mainly because of the pandemic so pandemic there was so you learn you learn uh, you need some e-learning sources or some online strategies to find out or some for example if in TMU if you go to the login you have the content for MSCs post basic all the content which has been inside the link so you need some strategies to have your education in a standardized way okay so there was some changes happen so NEP and approved by the union cabinet on one hand promises to make sweet reforms in education and research whereas on the other hand it aims to create a new possibility for lifelong learning so a lifelong learning so if you see in adult learning so adult learning means the person who is an adult and not going to schools or sometimes they have some sources of learning through online sources so they can have some centers if you see there are adult learning centers are there in which aged people are going and learning and their lifelong learning has also been a fact. So this is not yet mostly included in India. If you see in foreign countries, you can see the old age people also they are going for adult learning centers and they will be learning. But here in India, it's not yet. But they need that to come back. Okay. So that's the thing. Uh, NEP applies to make young generation more imaginative, innovative, ignatious, proactive, and pioneering and prospect oriented. So mostly we, our generation is that important generation to change the or to change uh, uh, aspect of education and to bring more innovation into our field. So in olden days if you see they will be saying that there are 64 colors means there are 64 arts are there. So everyone can learn every arts but here now in, uh, now in our field of education we are being narrowed to a different field. 
of multidisciplinary certificate. So multidisciplinary certificate means it is a five years or six years course you can study how much years you need. But in that one year, so like that what happens, a combination of courses when you are studying, you will be getting a multidisciplinary certificate and the system will give you additional qualification for your knowledge. So it is a multidisciplinary certificate which is also going to come into fact. So the most important concept I want to show you is, that is, in 2040, all higher education institutions shall become multidisciplinary institutions. So what does this mean? A university. Not a deemed, not an affiliated, but a full university with full accreditation of 15 years of accreditation they will be giving for the university. So there will be a, what? Multidisciplinary. As I said to you before now, every fact of fields you can go and learn. Okay? And the Ministry of Human Resource and Development is going to be named as Ministry of Only Education. Okay? So human resource and development will be changed into a Ministry of Education. And higher education institution expect legal and medical colleges will be governed by a single regular. So here a single regular people, regular, uh, regular system will be there to control all the higher education except medical and legal colleges. So you know what is legal colleges is law colleges. Okay? So that is the thing. So phasing of affiliated system in 15 years. So that I told you 15 years phases will be there. The ministry announced that there will be a holistic and multidisciplinary education in terms of flexibility of subjects. So flexibility of the subjects will be there. So as we said, you, as I said to you before, there is a subjects flexibility will be there. Or four year course, you can take any type of courses. Okay. So that means what happens if you have a vast knowledge, not only narrow knowledge on a single field. Okay. So that will be helpful for us and for the why this India has been taken this into aspect is Q is Kanikana because the most important drawback in India is there is no more concentration on research and innovation. We all do research. Yes, how much easy we will do it and we will finish it. But innovation, no. What is the thing is, our motto is to finish the courses. So we will try to finish an easy way of doing it. So what happens, your innovation ideas or your researchful ideas will be lagged in the end. So India is the only country which is very less in research and innovation. That means the support which is given by India also 0.69 percentage only. That means India financial support for uh, government for research and innovation all over the world if you see 0.69 percentage and 26 percentage of people are only using their innovation. If you see in South Korea. 96% people are using this research and innovations. You have ideas, you should utilize it. So, for example, in IAC Council, don't think this is something different from your field and you no need to learn. Something that you are going to be a challengeable life experience you'll be getting in this IAC Council. Uh, what is the thing is, we have a proof of concept on competition is there. So that means, what is your problem? What is your idea for the problem? So if you are planned for making any devices, you can make the devices and you can, it gets approved by the government. So when it gets approved by the government, you get more profits from the manufacturing device what you are trying to do. So like engineering only. In nursing, there are many devices that it, uh, uh, it can still be initiated. What is the thing is, we nurses, we think that we are not super, superior to doctors. So we will try to close our innovative ideas. So if you see hackathon is one organization is that if you touch uh, see in your uh, uh, what is the thing microsoft team is there it is it is has a microsoft team in it that is hackathon which is accepting nurses innovation and trying to make it as a project the profit which you all know grant commissions unit grant commissions okay so all university government private or deemed or vocational etc will have the same grade and other rules so here one more concept is that vocational courses. Vocational courses is going to be compulsory in your certificate courses. In your sub subject, what you are studying like medical, surgical, anatomy and physiology, what you are studying in that, one of the courses will be your vocational education courses. Okay, so it's going to be mandatory. 
So multiples before there will be 10, 10 plus 2. Am I correct or not? 10 and plus 2 is there. But now they have been categorized into 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. Okay, so that is a categorized system. And now, now if you see, government has planned to have a university exam at the 8th class itself. From 8th to 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, there will be university classes as they are planning and scheduled. And it is started in some of the states also. So, if, uh, that is according to year wise, they have been categorized. So, five years, that is kindergarten, all the play school people will be there. You can see it is a multi level playing and activity based learning. And the next one is the preparatory stay, that is three years of stay, that after that. 5 plus 8 stage that is play, discovery and activity based on interactive school learning and middle stage is the third that is the black mark that has been given. So that comes only your science, mathematics, arts and all these things comes in the field and secondary stage is your multidisciplinary study, great critical thinking and your flexibility and subject choice of students. So subject for India higher education system. So quality university and colleges which should have quality high education, which should have a quality high education. Because if you see in some institutions, they give, you get pay money, you get the certificates, PhD mostly. Within 2030, all this disorganized colleges or schools will be removed away from the education system. So that is a plan that India is being planned. In 2030, all the system of which has been falsely schools and uh, false colleges are there giving only certificates no need to attend classes and get certificates even in nursing we know many colleges are colleges are there okay we should have experience our friends learning i don't know how you are learning or that but we should have experience others being learning in that so you know that there is no nothing in that in learning or anything it's just a dummy so it was given by a supreme court order that he explained that there are many fake colleges or fake universities there which is giving certificates to the people. So India moves towards becoming a knowledge economy and society more and more young Indians are likely to aspire higher education. So you know higher education is very important in our field of any field it's very important. So that intention to bring the higher education what happens nowadays if you see the, uh, the pattern of jobs and all is being changed according to your higher education level and salary benefits is being different. You all know why is that? It's because higher education is an important aspect. According to higher education, cognitive skill development. So you all know what is cognitive skill development. Sir, you see, don't need to talk about that because the first uh, thing you can do is cognitive skills can develop. So what is the fact is we always think that we are not having a cognitive skill but you have it but you are not utilizing it. Okay, equal specialization and streaming into narrow of study. So I told you, you went into a narrow. Have you any other studied? No. Any other course have you studied like in online Swayam is there and many other courses are there. We call research in colleges and school and lack of competitive peer review an ineffective regulatory system ineffective regulatory system even government regulatory system is ineffective okay so large affiliated universities result in low standard of education system so there are large universities are there you can say many names of universities but what is the thing education system is very low okay that means university will be there in the name but if you see many PhDs who are doing in different different universities they will not be directly doing that. You can have many sources, but through getting money or doing anything, that means low education system. There is no education system also. So policy vision to change this, there is a multidisciplinary university should be needed. So that means in every district, government is planning in every district there should be a multidisciplinary colleges. And multidisciplinary UG education also should be there. So you know UG, PG, undergraduate education. So move towards the faculty and institution autonomy. Okay, that is this towards the faculty and institution autonomy also should be moved. The new forms of curriculum and method of teachings and enhance students' experiences. 
So, so what is this? I will just say you the concept. So, mainly what we concentrate on this is that is a multidisciplinary university is aiming to have high strength of students. That means there will be no illiteracy in India. It should be a multidisciplinary team. अगला एक यूनिवर्सिटी में आर्ट्स होना चाहिए पॉलिटेक्निक होना इंजीनियर सब होना चाहिए डिप्लोमा कोर्सेस ज्यादा होना चाहिए सो व्हाट हैपेंस एज अ मल्टी डिस्प्लिनरी इफ आई वांट टू स्टडी आई विल स्टडी अ वन ईयर कोर्स एंड आई विल गो बैक टू अ थ्री इयर्स कोर्स एंड आई विल गो बैक अगेन टू अ टू ईयर्स कोर्स एंड ऑफ सिक्स ईयर्स कोर्स आई विल फिनिशिंग विद विद मल्टी डिस्प्लिनरी सर्टिफिकेट्स विल बी गिवन टू सो यू शुड सिंपल एग्जांपल इज मेनी विल बी हैविंग एन इंटरेस्ट इन फैशन mainly females i can say uh um, boys will be having in physical education you can say so what happens your dream of making to become a fashion is being removed but this multidisciplinary will give you a credit system will help you to do that dream come true understand so that is the thing they are saying so high quality teaching high learning with undergraduates and graduate programs also very important so as i said the three boards are there that is appropriate accreditations okay accreditation boards are there then autonomous degree grant granting colleges involved in research intensive so what happens this degree graduate college should have a research concentrate uh, concentrating on research and teaching universities okay teaching intensive sorry intensive universities so other crucial responsibilities is community engagement that means this university so as we have nursing here we cover some communities if you see tmu colleges is be mostly concentrating on some villages so you can say around 16 villages are there under this tmu you'll be saying no so what is that the university is having a community engagement or field visits to other uh, departments of community okay and faculty development for higher education so 2040 this multidisciplinary institution will be full into hands that means important growth will, will be in both public and private institutions and they will be concentrating on open distance learning and online programs also okay so all colleges currently affiliated to one university shall attain the required benchmarks and autonomy degree graduated guarantee colleges so i told you that in the starting that all the such as like affiliated university affiliated technical university or unitary university shall be replaced by a single name called university and towards a more holistic and multidisciplinary education so the word stem here can you see the word stem that means it is science technical okay then uh, it's a uh, uh, economical and mathematics that is all the concepts of learning will be coming into field and there will be Program. And one more thing, I told you, it describes good education as knowledge of the 64 kalas are art. So in olden days, if you see kalas, I will be saying in Hindi it is called solo arts. I don't know how that are. So what India is thinking is to bring back the old concept of kalas, arts and humanities into education again. Okay. So assessing of education from uh, approaches in undergraduate education and integrating the humanity and arts. the multidisciplinary branch program of four years as per student choices and academic bank of credit will be established will be digitally stored in the academic credits so what they say is the optimal learning and environment and support for students so optimal learning high optimal learning means suitable resources should be there Lab, library skill labs training labs Okay, and student discussion spaces should be there. So, if you see in uh, TMU, uh, up to four forty-five, you have time uh, for teachers to talk. Four o'clock, your classes will be over. So, there is a discussion space is there for four to four forty-five that you can go and see your teachers, meet your teachers, and do your discussion process. So, like this, TMU, you can see many other people are coming and joining in our colleges, and some from our colleges. After finishing your PhD and going and doing your master's or PhD in foreign countries, so that is called inter, inter sorry uh, internationalization. They will be saying this. That means collaborating with the peoples. So in nursing, there are some collaborations. If you see in colleges, in one of my own college when I did my MSc, there was a collaboration that students are being sent to foreign countries for higher educations for their doing their fourth year there. 
Understand? BSc. Fourth year they will be doing that. They, from there they will be coming and doing their masters here. Or their research project here. Or she will be sent there to do a research project there. So there will be an exchange of students. Vice versa will be done. So what happened? This, with this what happened? Inter internationalization, your uh, communication between different world will be included. System for handling stress and emotional adjustment. Counseling system is very important. Because nowadays people, economic status is very less. So counseling system is very important in it. And motivation, uh, national scholarship portal. If you see in uh, online, now national scholarship portal is there. Many are been trying to put your scholarships in this and you will be receiving and this will be tracked down. Not only for your group, for that socio disadvantaged groups also. Thousand members of or not even attempting serious teaching education but are essentially selling degree for a price. Selling degree for a price. 5 lakhs PhD. 7 lakhs PhD. Nursing PhD is still now. If you hear your surroundings, you may hear. Okay. So what they said, 2030, all the dysfunctional teaching education will be removed. So on one more 10 years are there, all the fakes will become certificate becomes fake. Somewhere I make a right now. How much money you pay will be a loss for you when you get the fake degree of college. Abhi fake degree hai, 2030 ke baad kya ho jayega? Value nahi hai. Dustbin. 7 lakhs goes to a dustbin. So, Swayam and Diksha for online training for teachers. Teachers are also there, for students also are there. Okay. National Ministry Mission of Mentoring. So here, this national mission of mentoring is, if you see, you may, in your school life, you know one of our best teacher, a senior teacher will be there. It's not, a senior teacher will be there. But he or she should have written, utilizing them in this national mission mentoring for helping or to establish them. Okay, utilizing them in the education. So, reimagining the vocal, vocational education. So, I told you, less than 5% only in India. Vocational education is less than 5% is there only in India. Other like USA, 52. Germany is 75. And in South Korea, more than 100. It comes to 100. 96% of vocational educations are there in every institution. But out of overall higher education system, professional education. Agriculture University comprise approximately 9% of all universities in the country. The, all the, over the country, only 9% of universities are there with agriculture. Enrollment in agriculture and allied sciences, you know allied science means which course? Nursing is an allied science. It's not allied courses. Okay. Diploma courses are there, not diploma nursing are all allied courses, they'll be saying. Allied sciences they'll be saying. So it was a mission which was what is the thing is national literacy mission which was launched launched in India in 1988 to remove all the illiteracy from India. So if you see in India, we can see one of the most important state you know that all which has more literacy stage, you should have studied Kerala. Why is that? Why? They know the value of the education system. We, peoples, are not been transforming to that value of education. So you know, they will be all over the world. If you see Kerala peoples, they will be spread all over the world. Not only in India, all over the world. Any nook and corner you can find a person because they know that value of that education which should be literally passed on to the generation also. Okay. So first outstand adult education framework should be then. Then the second should be infrastructure should be created and instruction education should be then. The fourth is the community members in adult education. Community members should be uh, divided. And the fifth is availability and accessibility of the sources of books. And the final is the technological strengthening should be there. So, Education and Technology Forum, e-content and learning, artificial intelligence. So, artificial intelligence is one of the facts which is coming into the field of every field. If you see artificial intelligence is coming. You should have seen many movies based on artificial intelligence. But it is with 3D, 7D, visualization, images and all is being coming in. Then Swayam is some of the organization which is made by India. If you see in online courses, extra courses, only BSc nursing, MSc nursing, 
उसके साथ कुछ कुछ होना है मतलब स्वयं के साथ अंदर जा सकते हैं यू कैन स्टडी ए कोर्स ऑफ सिक्स मंथ्स फाइव मंथ्स कोर्सेस दैट ओनली थाउजेंड रुपीज देर चार्जिंग फॉर द सर्टिफिकेट वॉट दे सेंग इज फॉर पॉलिसी रिकमेंडेड फॉलोइंग द स्की इनिशिएटिव पायलट स्टडी शुड बी कंडक्टेड फॉर ऑनलाइन एजुकेशन हाउ वेदर दैट इज बीन वैल्यूड ऑन बिकॉज सिंपल एग्जाम्पल इज आई एम टीचिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू लाइक दिस द सेम टीचिंग विल नॉट बी देयर वेन आई टीच इन ऑनलाइन अंडरस्टैंड same way of teaching that is the expressions of uh, trying to what i'm trying to say to you by your face i can identify what you need most the explanation and what you doesn't need so but here it's easy but when you go to the online you can't see any faces it's very very, very difficult simply monotonously slide wo kar ke ja sakte am i correct or not okay okay thank you to me understand the policy what india has been big brought into existence in 2020 after 34 years of gap thank you